I'm not really even sure if anybody's even going to want anything of mine after I'm gone. Um, that is, if this is successful. So, nobody really wants to be with me, so, everybody just wants to lie to me and to keep me a secret, and I don't want to do it anymore, and I'm tired of just poking and prodding. And this throwing up and pain. And I can't do it anymore. I can't make it stop. And God evidently won't make it stop. So evidently I've done this to myself. And evidently this is what I deserve. So I'm going to take matters into my own hands. And I don't, I'm not just... I don't want to do this anymore. And you know what's sad is that I don't have anybody to talk to about this. Because nobody really wants to be my friend. And I'm tired of it. For 17 years, I'm tired of... It being this way. You know, the angels might be here. God might be here. But without there being a real person here. You know, sometimes you just need a real person to be there for you. And to be around you. And I don't have that. I have Jeremy. Every day I have Jeremy. But he's changed. And that was something else that I was going to make a video about, is that I think that these people who made these videos about uh, COVID-19 vaccine changing people is true. Because he's not the same person that he used to be. He gets agitated more. He's still pretty quiet and, you know, all that good stuff. But he's not the same person that he used to be. sure what to say anymore other than the fact that I have all this stuff and I don't really think anybody will, have, will want it so I can't really say well I'm going to give this to this person and this to this person and because they probably won't want it So, I guess I'm just going to talk about whatever it is that I want to talk about, and this will just be my last video, if this is successful. I'm not really sure how successful this is going to be, because... Who knows, I've never tried to slip my wrist before, so who knows. And now there's pain in the back of my head, the lower back of my skull. There's pain. And that's been going on for several days and it didn't get better until I got a new pillow. I had a dilapidated pillow. It was all sorts of messed up. And 
I'm just, I'm tired of this pain. And God won't make it go away. No matter what I do, He won't make the pain go away. I can't get rid of these demons. I can't do it. Well, that's fine. I know I don't deserve you, and I don't deserve Shelby, and I'm supposed to get another boyfriend, but I can't get another boyfriend because nobody wants to be real with me. People say that they love you, but, you know, I'm starting to... I'm going to quote a movie. I forgot what movie it was, but they said, you know, people can tell you they love you all the time and they don't really mean it. It's just words. It's their actions that speak louder than their words. And whenever it comes down to it, I'm old school. And if somebody wants to keep me a secret then they don't really want to have a relationship with me and they don't really love me. Because love doesn't keep people a secret. Whenever you love somebody, you want to tell the whole world that you love this person. That's what I would do. If I was in love with somebody, I would want to tell the whole world because I would be so proud of that person and I would want everybody in the whole world to know that this person loves me and I love this person. But nobody wants to do that. They want to keep me a secret. And I don't think that that's right. So I know that it'll never be real because evidently I don't deserve for it to be real. And I evidently don't deserve anybody or anything. And my life has been nothing but ups and downs ever since I was born. I don't even know if half the stuff I was sold was real or not, or true, or not, about any of that. But I do know that it was real, what happened to me growing up, and all this stuff that's been happen to me, happening to me since I've been an adult has been real. And it's really happening, and Jeremy thinks that I'm crazy and insane and mentally unstable, and he thinks that I have a disease, and he thinks that all this stuff, and he thinks that I have bipolar, and he thinks that I have all this stuff, all these mental illnesses, and... Maybe I do, you know, but I think that mental illnesses are demons. So, if they are demons, I can't get rid of them. Because I can't get rid of this pain. I can't get rid of anything. And the only way for me to get through this is to, like, be, like, drunk all the time or something. Because I don't know any other way. I've tried every other way, and... The only way to get through it is to sin. And I'm trying to be a Christian. And I'm trying to do what God wants me to do. And I'm trying to live the right life. And I can't do it. And now I'm in pain again. Obviously, whoever is listening to me right now doesn't care what I'm saying. This happens all the time. It doesn't care. Whoever is controlling the inside of my body and making me in pain, and because my teeth were just in pain, or there I should say, the lack of my teeth, 
are in pain and I just, I can't do it. I can't do this anymore. It's either I have two choices that I know of. One, keep doing what I've been doing and acting like a crazy person and and mentally unstable crazy person or sin and stay drunk all the time. And because that's the only way that... I know how to get through this because I can't, but I can't be a hypocrite and drink alcohol and, and get drunk. You can drink alcohol, but you just can't get drunk. And then quote the Bible or, you know, read Bible verses to people and stuff like that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be that person that, you know, sins all the time and does all this stuff. And then be like, oh, yeah, I'm a Christian and I'm this and I'm that and da 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 da, da and blah, 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 and all this stuff. I'm not going to do it. And it makes me sad because that's the only way that I can get through this is to sin. I don't see any other option because nobody will help me except for God and the angels, but God won't help me to the extent of the fact that he won't make this go away. He won't make this stop. And I don't know why. I didn't know that whatever it, whatever I have done in this life, that I deserve this. That I deserve all this pain and torment, and I didn't know that a person could be that bad of a person to where they deserve this. But evidently, I've done something horrible in my life, something so horrible that it was probably worse than Job in the Bible, and... Job didn't even do anything wrong that I know of. And he got... He had all kinds of bad stuff happen to him. And his his wife was just like, why don't you just curse God? And, well, <laughs> I've cursed that God a couple of times. Yeah, I remember Cassie telling me at the Hannah house, the pregnant homeless shelter... For pregnant women. She said she almost cursed at God one time. Well I literally did curse at God. This time. And then I felt bad for it. Because I thought that he was telling me. That this was all my fault. So, I have two options. I, and I know that I can't go on like this anymore. I can't do this sober. I can't. I can't do it. And if I'm going to be drunk all the time, then I'm not going to do God stuff anymore. Because I'm not going to be that person. So. 
So it's either I kill myself or <sighs> Yes, I know you hate me. I got it. And you hate making love to me. You hate making love to me. This is my best friend right here. He hates making love to me. And he wants to put me in pain, evidently. Well, if you're my best friend, then you're not supposed to put somebody in pain. He hates making love to me. And he wants to physically hurt me. And I don't deserve him. And he's better than I am. And everybody in the whole world is better than I am, evidently. And you know what? I've been putting up with this for years. I've been putting up with it for years and I can't do it anymore. I can't. I can't do it. I don't know how to get rid of these demons. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to get rid of these demons. I've tried. I've tried everything that I possibly know to try. I've prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and... I can't. And you know what's sad is that God could make this stop if he wanted to. All he would have to do, he made the storm stop whenever there was a storm and they were in the boat. All he had to do was wake up and stand up in the boat and he put his arm out. Or at least that's what it shows in the movies. He put his arm out and told the wave to stop, told the storms to stop. He could do that with me. He could do that with anybody. He could make everybody whole, healed, happy, healthy if he wanted to, but he doesn't. And I don't know why. I don't know why he doesn't do it. I think Jeremy's here. I just heard a car pull up. So I'm probably going to end this video. And I'll make another one here in a little bit. But now that Jeremy's here, I'm not going to be able to do anything. Because if I try to do something, he'll probably try to stop me. And stop making love to me. Stop making love. I thought I was supposed to. I thought I was supposed to make love to you. You know what? This is my body. My body. Whoever is controlling the inside of my body, this is my body. I will do what I want to do. And if I want to masturbate and make love to you, and that's how I masturbate, that's how I make love to you, then that's what I'll do. If I don't want to, I won't. I am so tired of the inside of my body telling me what to do all the time. This is my body. And whoever is inside of my body needs to respect my body. This is my body that you have possessed. One minute, they're telling me, oh, come, 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 come. Make love to me. Come. Masturbate and come. And then, then, and now they're telling me, don't make love to me. Can somebody please make up their mind? 
I have been fighting this for 11 years. I masturbated whenever I didn't think anybody was watching me. Because I wanted to. Nobody was trying to control me back then. Nobody told me that I couldn't do it. I had a dildo. Melissa from Walmart went to Exotica and helped me buy a purple dildo called a rabbit. Told you, TMI. This video is going to be TMI. Because it's probably going to be one of the last videos that I make. I'm not holding nothing back anymore. So anyway, now I forgot what I was saying. This is what I deal with. And this is what I have dealt with for the last 11 years. And now my next running again, MSNBC, Dave Hetty's favorite news station. He trusts that news station. Probably can't trust him. But Dave Hetty trusts him. And now my the back of my neck is hurting and evidently it's telling me that Dave Hetty or MSNBC is hurting the back of my neck. See, this is how evil the inside of my body is. These people aren't evil. Okay? These people that I used to go to church with are not evil. And they would never hurt me in a million years. But now, all of a sudden, I am in pain whenever it has to do with anything that has to do with God or anybody that has to do with Bible Center Cathedral or anything. That is how evil the inside of my body is. And I can't make it stop. I can't make it. I can't make it. I can't make it. Oh. <sighs> Done. You know what? I'm done. It's pointless. It is so freaking pointless to argue with the inside of my body because the inside of my body is always going to win. Who, Whatever this is, it's always going to win. It's always going to win the argument. It's always right. I'm always wrong. All the good people in this world are evil, and all the evil people are good, evidently. And what? It's pointless to argue with the inside of my body anymore. It's just freaking pointless. So you know what? I'm not going to do it anymore. You know what? I'm going to do what my grandma Roan taught me. Don't get mad. Get even. Except I'm not going to get even because I can't get even. I don't have the resources to get even with anybody. I'm just not going to get mad and I'm just not going to argue with the inside of my body anymore. I'm just going to... Do something. I'm going to do something about it. And if the only thing that I can do is to die, then that's what I'm going to do. It may not stop the pain. I have no idea what happens whenever you die. But 
I'm just not going to argue with it anymore. Because no matter what I say, it's not the right thing. And you know what? I'm tired of feeling that way. I'm tired of feeling like no matter what I say, it's the wrong thing. So, Jeremy's probably sitting out in the Jeep trying to muster up the strength to walk into the apartment. So, I'm going to end this video and I'm going to make another one later probably out in the truck so that nobody can hear me except whoever is listening to me at the time and whoever watches the video which nobody probably will if I'm able to post it So, I'm done. And I'm not even that sad about it anymore. I've cried and yelled and screamed and I just figure this is just how it has to be. Son of a bitch! <sighs> now the back of my neck is hurting really bad. You know what? I can't. Fine. Uh, you know what? Nope. I'm not gonna get mad. I already done got mad, but whatever. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I can't do it. It's been ten years. 10 years that I've been in pain and nobody cares. That's how I feel. I feel like nobody cares. But I hope everybody else in the whole world's having a good night. Hope they're having a whole hell of a lot better night than I am. Because isn't that the way that it's supposed to be?